Hi, I'm Jerry, and I have two Excel tips for you at an intermediate level. Let's get started. So let's say that you have an image of data and you need to get this data onto your Excel sheet. Here's how you do it. On your Excel file sheet, up in your file menu, you want to select data. In the ribbon, you want to select from picture dropdown and select the picture from file. Once you find that image, select it and click on insert. And as you can see here on the right hand side, it's analyzing that image to actually extract that data from it. Now it provides a preview down at the bottom and you can see that certain cells are highlighted because there's an issue. So go ahead and click on review to review those issues. Now what you wanna do is actually look at what Excel captured from the actual image. And as you can see, it did not capture the zero and close parentheses. So make those corrections and just click accept. Then you'll want to run through each one of the items that needs to be reviewed. And then when your review is finally done, just go ahead and click insert data. And then a pop-up message will come up just stating that you, you're responsible for validating the accuracy. Insert data again and voila it has actually created columns of data for you as well as the rows. Now you can go ahead and manipulate this file however you need to. Let's move on to the next tip. So this next tip is called text split function. So let's say that you collected the skill set for each of your colleagues, and this is how it was received. But what you want to actually do is break up each skill into its own column. This is how you can do it. So you want to select the cell where you want to place the text split function. Okay. Start typing by entering equals and then text split. And as you can see, the functions are starting to list below. Once your function appears, all you need to do is hit your tab key and it will enter it into that cell. Looking at what the function wants, okay, it has it bolded, the text of the skills that you want to split up. So that will be B1. So just click in that cell and it automatically places the cell number into the function. Now you want to separate these with a comma just as it appears in the example. It has text comma, so B1 comma. Now the next item that the function wants is the delimiter. Now the delimiter is what separates each word or each skill. And in this case, it is separated by a comma. So we're going to enter the comma in quotes. So quote, comma, quote, and then we're going to close parentheses. Now hit the tab key and voila, each skill item has been placed into a separate cell. So if you select that skill set, each cell carrying that function, click on the corner and drag the selection down to row five and that function will automatically split up the skill sets for each of the colleagues. And there you have it. Thank you for joining me.